Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here in Linz and also online. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this masterclass, CELAM and CMS. I'm not alone today, as we split the audience in online and here in place. We also split the speakers at online and here uh, in place. I will be supported not by uh, Jörn Stengel. We had a little switch uh, this morning. With me today is Johannes Tatmeier, also from Comspace. Before we continue, some words uh, about myself. My name is Florian Higgelsberger. I'm for uh, five years now uh, within Silom. I started my career here uh, in support and over technical consulting. I found my way to uh, the pre-sales department where uh, I'm currently. I think that's enough. <laughs> and with these words, I switch over to Johannes. Hi. Thanks uh, for the uh, great introduction. Um, yeah, as you uh, already heard, um, we had to do a quick uh, switch this morning. Um, my name is Johannes Tatmeier, and I'm with Comspace now for 19 years. Um, I'm in the management board and responsible for everything regarding um, customers. And I'm happy to be here, at least uh, digitally, um, at the Silimium 2021. So um, I will present you a little slide about Comspace. Um, Comspace is a digital agency in Bielefeld in North Westphalia in Germany. Um, we do consulting um, re re realization. Um, our main um, Asset is knowledge. Um, we're yeah. um, specialized in technology. So we are not uh, a creative full service agency, but we're really focusing on uh, technology and um, partnering with strong um, system uh, providers um, like Silon. Yeah, as I said, um, consulting, realization, technology, and marketing are our main parts um, and the creation part do together with uh, our partners. Um, that should be it about Comspace uh, because the main topic definitely is connectors and um, what we can do with them. So I will switch back to Florian. Thanks. So now that you know uh, who is talking to you, let's discuss why we are all here today. Uh, CMS is, of course, for every company, a very important topic. And we want to show you how uh, a DAM and a CMS can cooperate the best way uh, together. I'm sure this week you already heard uh, something about uh, our uh, way we think about the content, uh, content supply chain uh, and our uh, create, manage, and route. You, mainly, uh, you maybe already s uh, saw this slide. Of course, when talking about uh, CMS, we'll skip the create part today a little bit and focus uh, mainly on the manage uh, and route part. So what can be good reasons uh, for connecting uh, Silom Digital Asset Management with one of the multiple CMSs out there? First of all, it's about reducing uh, data silos. Everyone who doesn't have it yet uh, might notice that your photos, videos, whatever, uh, flying around on multiple uh, drives, uh, network drives on some servers, maybe uh, your marketing employees, have them on their local PC, which makes it really hard if you are working with this content to find the correct one. So by connecting, you reduce the, uh, the silos and have one place where all your people working with your content can find it. What uh, also comes more, more public is that not all people are still in the same office or even in the same uh, country, maybe spread it all across Europe or even uh, across the whole world, which makes uh, communication between these uh, groups and people uh, more and more difficult. And even if your uh, marketing team is, or your customers' marketing teams are still located in one location, there's something like uh, Corona <laughs> in Austria. We are uh, in the middle of the, or starting the third wave. So maybe we all can switch uh, back to home office soon, which uh, makes it. Uh, <laughs> 
also uh, difficult again for communicating and alignment. <laughs> Uh, here also, the connection uh, to the digital asset management can really help you, again, know where to find your assets uh, and able uh, to search for them and manage them in a correct way. Most of the CM uh, or a lot of CMSs, it's really hard, uh, even if uh, the assets in there, to find them again, to reuse them in a quite efficient way. Yeah. With that from my side, uh, I think also Jörn has some good reasons, uh, Johannes uh, can give you some good oh. reasons for the connection. Yeah, we want uh, to make sure that um, the assets are current so that you have the um, yeah, newest version of your asset in every place you really want to use it. Um, Florian already said um, you want to reduce data silos that also implies that you want to change the asset in one spot and then everything should be connected. So if we change an asset, it should be changed in every, um, at every place it's um, used. So for example, if um, you have a new CEO and you exchange the picture and um, other contents, uh, it should not happen that on some small website for some small country or something like that, the, the old image uh, still resides on the website. So um, making sure um, that all assets are everywhere they should be in their current um, version is one of the very important uh, tasks of such an integration. Um, to achieve this, we want to um, automate um, steps. So we want to um, have workflows in place that automatically do things like that. Um, and also um, reduce the volume of the data stored. For example, if you have um, an image uh, of yeah, great resolution, um, you want to have it stored on the web server only on a, in a smaller download format, um, as it's called in Salem, um, to have a smaller version of the image and um, yeah, only what you need on the different um, systems. Um, then, Another thing with um, assets always is a license. So if something um, has a limited uh, license period, um, you want to make certain, very certain that it's not used anymore um, at some different places. And um, you lose all your, um, all your access or all your control to an asset if um, some marketeer um, downloads the asset to the local hard drive, uploads it again in a different system, you just don't have the control to know, okay, this is, this is an image I can only use um, until the end of 2001. Um, or, yeah. Um, and so um, consideration of the license agreement and um, invalidating um, assets is a very important part of these um, connectors. Um, License is something that is planned and um, yeah, has a schedule. Um, you know in advance, okay, there will be some changes. Um, what could also happen is um, that you have emergency situations where some assets need to be replaced real quick in every, um, every position they are in. And um, so emergency deletion and asset replacement is also um, a task for these connectors to just do it in the Salem, have a single source of truth, do it there, and everything else needs to fall in place. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you see, uh, connecting Diamond CMS can be very useful, can help you a lot, and that's why uh, we already have a lot of connectors, especially to uh, CDN in place. A short overview here. What the uh, next few, uh, minutes will be about, we picked uh, some of these connectors. We uh, want to uh, take a look in detail, starting with uh, the side core connector, and therefore I'll handing back to Johannes. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about it. Um, I'm going to show you. Um, so we're here inside of Sidecore installation. It's 
very limited design just to show you how we can handle assets like images. Um, so you have the normal normal dashboard. Um, we have um, a Selum dashboard we can take a look at later on. And um, yeah, um, here in the experience editor, I want to change images. But before I change these images, I want to uh, show you the Selum side of it. So in Selum, I have these two assets here and here. They're used. I can see this here on the icon. There was a side call. These are the two images. So if I want to change images now, for example, I want to change this image to this image. I just click on this, get my ribbon, click on the uh, Selim icon, and now get a dialog. Folder one, folder two, folders I have an access here. And I think I said I wanted to change to this image. I select the image, click on select asset. And the image is replaced. Um, I just save it here in Sidecore. Go over to Salem, reload this page. I might have reloaded a second too early. No, it's OK. Um, and see, okay, the icon is here. And it's removed here because this asset is not used in Sidecore anymore. So um, yeah, I can, this is basic functionality. I can um, work inside of CMS as an editor. I don't need to switch to Selum. Uh, I only switch to Selum now to show you what's happening inside of the uh, Selum. Um, but as, a, uh, as an editor, I can just yeah change images. Um, here. We could also deactivate these icons for the normal classic way of um, choosing images inside of Sitecore. But um, yeah, for the um, sake of this demo, we just um, yeah, include this, have the possibility to select um, different images, click select, they get converted because we have a download format. Um, as I mentioned before, we don't need the complete re uh, resolution of an image um, in this place. Okay. Click on save. So what also happens is um, the other way around. So if I'm here, um, reload this. If I'm here, I might want to change metadata. Um, for example, maybe we'll just put a two at the end here um, in the file name. Um, that's just one thing uh, we can change. Now I go to my launch path and take a look at the workbox. Because what happens here is um, somebody changed something inside of Salem. So inside of my sidecore, I want to be notified about these changes. Um, especially in the case of, um, of images, I don't want this to happen automatically. Um, maybe I selected um, um, parts of the images to be in focus, um, depending on the resolution or something like that. And if I just uh, replace content here, um, this might lead to some, some funny um, effects. What I can do here is, I see um, this image um, has modifications awaiting approval. I could also select uh, the modification, but first we want to click on the diff to see the difference. And I can see here, the new version has a two added, the old version does not. Um, yeah. So it's just an example change. Um, but we can see, OK, um, this is a change I, I can accept and submit. So I click on Submit Modifications. Um, and yeah, the, the uh, metadata uh, um, of these, this asset is also changed inside of Cycle now. Um, yeah, um, so this is uh, the, the basic thing. What we see here is um, the advanced UI. What might um, 
be important for some of you is um, that you could also use um, the Nova UI. Older now. Um, the same things uh, as I had before, the icon here. Um, also in the uh, advanced IU, I uh, um, won't show everything twice now. Um, but one thing I did not show yet was um, the asset usage. So if I click on the bullet, I get it, um, a quick link. I can click on it and see if the image is used here. Um, yeah, uh, for everybody who's using Sidecore, um, I can switch to the experience. Uh, okay, um, directly on the image, not, but on the, on the page, I can switch to the experience editor and um, get this view back you have seen before. Yes, um, the other way around might be interesting as well. So if, um, um, on the item. And go to the media library. And on this item. Um, yeah, it looks like a warning because we use the warning functionality of Sitecore for this. Um, but this is the only way we get, um, we can display information for the editor um, in this view. Um, so I'm in the media library on this, this image now. Um, and here, um, as I said, as a warning, we integrated um, a link show and sit. I can click on it. And get the detailed view of this asset inside of Salem. So, um, yeah, uh, we can take a look at uh, questions later if there's uh, something you want to see. Um, uh, yeah, I'm happy to show you, um, but I think this uh, should suffice as a quick overview about um, what the connector is doing. Thanks. The next one we take a look to is the uh, type of reconnector. Uh, with the type of reconnector, we extend uh, the type of menu by a Silum uh, connect entry, which make it makes it very easy to select and import uh, Silum assets directly uh, into Typo. And here again, you don't have to uh, switch the systems. You can stay inside uh, the Typo free application and use Silum uh, from there. <coughs> when you transfer or use uh, an asset inside Typo, uh, of course, it's also marked in uh, Silum with a little bullet so uh, that everyone knows this asset is in use, don't delete it or uh, be aware if you do changes that you uh, might, might change it directly in the CMS too. We have two possibilities here. One way would be uh, downloading it uh, directly uh, into Typo. The other one would be using uh, a public uh, CDN link, for example, uh, or uh, a public URL directly uh, from Silum. Alternatively, you can also, uh, with the FAL connector, configure a node directly from Silum and uh, show this uh, inside Typo and uh, work directly in this node. Of course, it's also uh, possible to transfer metadata like a title, a description, or an alternative text, and uh, this connector supports this metadata transfer also in multiple languages. Uh, by the way, uh, the latest uh, typo version will, support it, will be supported by the connector in October. So I'll hand back to Johannes for First Spirit. Yeah, the um, First Spirit connector is um, another connector um, we created. Um, should I also show the slide on this?
see my screen again. So um, the um, the spirit connector is another um, connector we created. Um, it's using um, the report function in the um, content creator. So if you know for spirit, there are, there's a row of icons on the right side of the, um, your user interface. We added uh, another one uh, there. And um, yeah, um, as you see on the screenshot, uh, we have the Sedum Connect. Um, we have a small um, form where you can um, yeah, sort, uh, search, uh, and filter um, um, content. And then you can just drag and drop it from the right side to the left side um, into your website and replace images like this. Um, yeah, uh, there are also workflows um, included. Um, we transfer a metadata. Um, we have the bullet information inside of um, Salem. So basically the, the main part of the um, functionality is the same. Um, the editing of content is a little different because the CMS is a little different. As I um, said in Sitecore, you click on a small icon, get a dialogue. Here you have um, the report on the right side and um, do drag and drop um, over to the left side on your images um, you want to replace. That's about the, the third connection. Yeah, the next one we want I will also uh, show you is the connector to SharePoint. I always think, uh, especially SharePoint, is a funny thing. A lot of companies uh, have it, and uh, a lot of companies are moaning that it's very complica uh, complicated. But uh, <coughs> let's switch uh, directly to it and take a look. What we see here uh, is our uh, demo SharePoint, and with the connector, I have uh, the possibility again to place, for example, the, uh, directly one asset. The assets available for the connector can be uh, controlled by uh, synchronization users to also ensure that uh, only selected and uh, that only uh, selected and, uh, assets can be used. I have the possibility to uh, choose if I want to use uh, a public URL or uh, a, pre uh, a preview or some other download format. Of course, using the, uh, CDN, uh, the CDN link is quite fast. And if I click on publish, I also have my link in uh, Content Hub. if I use the right asset, <laughs> uh, which uh, shows me where exactly uh, this asset is used and I can jump directly to the page where it, use, uh, where it is used. Uh, if we don't uh, use the CDN link but uh, a download format, this will uh, look, of course, uh, a little different. We again uh, select an asset. But this time, I want to, uh, really want to uh, transfer it. Uh, we see uh, it's uh, calculated in, in the background, so it took me uh, a little bit longer. And I also have my uh, reference uh, now here, and uh, I could d uh, directly view uh, the asset uh, using this uh, references. But uh, this connector can do uh, far, far more. For example, it's also possible, uh, as you know, SharePoint is uh, like to be used for uh, internal platforms, uh, maybe to give a wide variety of uh, employees or uh, partners access to your assets. Uh, you can also directly share uh, and completely node from Celum. It's really uh, easy uh, to configure. You just uh, have to know the node ID.
and uh, you can allow uh, the users to uh, just, or you can uh, preset how uh, the users will see these assets uh, as a gallery or uh, as list view, for example. You can also decide uh, which uh, information uh, is shown uh, to the user. You see it's really easy uh, to configure. And if we check, we have our file uh, list here. You can uh, view details and directly from SharePoint, uh, then your uh, employees will be able uh, to download. There is uh, another uh, widget, the Silum uh, Hero widget, which uh, can be used as predefined uh, gallery. I select multiple assets here. Check them out and just uh, to sh In this case, I, I will use uh, public URLs for all of them. And have a Quite, quite cool uh, header picture, for example. I can here uh, also choose the uh, design I want them uh, to be in. And for uh, some pictures, as we uh, see here, no. we can also uh, adapt the focus point. And this is a really cool uh, f uh, thing I want to show you in combination with uh, digital asset management. You don't want to set this focus point uh, manually. Therefore, uh, of course, we have a solution. You can uh, define these uh, focus points already inside uh, the digital asset management, inside Zilom. I want this lovely smile definitely on my uh, image here too. So when I w uh, select the asset now, Again, check out and say, yeah, take the uh, focal point. As you see, for the C uh, CDN, of course, it is fast again. The other one ha uh, has to be calculated. But you see now, uh, immediately, I have uh, this young smile uh, spreading happiness. Yeah, so far uh, for the uh, SharePoint Connect. Uh, what can, uh, can you say is uh, conclu conclusion? As you have seen, uh, there are really uh, a lot of advantages uh, uh, to be safe about uh, licenses to uh, uh, give your uh, employees, your users, the possibilities to work fast and uh, in an efficient way. Uh, and also uh, make it easy for decentralized uh, teams to work with your uh, content from one central point. Uh, Johannes, do you still uh, want to add something? Yes, you, um, yeah, I think, uh, as we also said at the beginning, but really uh, the main thing uh, from my point of view you need to take away from this is um, that you want your asset in one place. You don't want um, silos where you store information redundant, uh, redundantly and have um, everything uh, two, three, four, twenty times. Um, this is really the important part because you will lose um, your overview and um, you lose all your control um, about your assets. Thanks. I think we have a lot of questions as well. Uh, that's, I think that's really great. Um, should we directly start there? Uh, yes. So as we already t uh, talked a lot, uh, we now want uh, to have the time for uh, your qu uh, questions and your input. 
I think for the first one, we'll start with the uh, audience here in Linz, if there are some. Um, one question regarding the, or generally, but mainly the SharePoint integration. Mm -hmm. um, are there any plans that, or options that you also can use your assets within other web parts, not only the Solumium web part? Because I'm thinking of when I use SharePoint as an intranet, mm -hmm. I have, for example, I use Valo or some of the default hero standard mm -hmm. templates and what would be nice especially to have one central deposit yeah. to use the assets in other web parts. Uh, currently not, it's uh, only pl uh, planned to have this free uh, Silom web parts where you can uh, use the assets. <coughs> One question from my side, uh, coming back to Sidecar. Uh, you have shown what happens when I replace a picture uh, and what happens when I make a new version of a picture. Uh, regarding metadata, how is the synchronization when I just want to stay with the picture and I have a lot of pictures there, they are missing a lot of metadata. Uh, what can I do? How is the synchronization then? Uh, Johannes? Re rephrase your question uh, to, to see if I really understood. Um, you're saying you're missing metadata um, in the assets in, in Sidecore, but you have the metadata in Salem or? No, no, I, I have the picture in Salem, but uh, there are lack of metadata and I am going to, f to improve the, the quality of the metadata and, and uh, uh, fill in more, more information in the background. Yeah, but that, that's uh, starting from zero and changing to something. So it's also a change, so it would also trigger a workflow inside of Sidecore. Okay, it's, uh, it's the same like um, I'm making a new version then or changing yeah. the picture. Yeah. Okay. So as, as soon as some, something from the asset changes, um, we get a new version. And what you can configure is whether you want to have certain cha changes automatically or um, yeah, whether you want to um, approve them. Okay. Does that answer the question? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, let's, uh, oh, here's another one. Um, maybe hand over the microphone. Thanks. Hi. Um, just uh, regarding every uh, uh, connection to, mm -hmm. to the different uh, CMSs. Uh, once uh, some, some CMS editors um, edit their story, whatever, uh, they have additional images they have to upload. So mm -hmm. uh, is there a process also to, to upload the image through the CMS into Selim? And uh, is there something like an import functionality and, and fields for everything? Or do I have to go to Selim, import there, and from there going back to the CMS? Um, this depends on the used connectors. Some are uh, able to put uh, assets back, uh, some are not so. Uh, it also depends on the uh, used CMS. Uh, depending on uh, your needs, we are always uh, happy for uh, new features and can, of course, uh, take a look if we can extend so the, answer the needed connector. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you. <laughs> and yeah. May I have a second question? Question. You already uh, have the microphone. <laughs> sorry, I'm the metadata guy. I'm, I'm the metadata guy and um, uh, some photographers, they now start saying, okay, I add my uh, credit, my uh, copyright information into the image. Maybe some, some agencies, they also add some uh, reference to the license uh, you bought mm -hmm. with the picture agency, for example. Is there a chance <coughs> to transfer this kind of metadata like the three C's, the IPTC says, no, create yep. a credit copyright notice, going into the CMS and the CMS finally will kill them, but maybe do you transfer these data? Um, that's definitely possible. As you might know, uh, Silom is capable of reading IPTC data and put them into information fields. And so uh, this metadata can be uh, transferred uh, also to the CMS then later. Maybe I, I will share my screen again and show you how this uh, will look in, in Sidecore. So um, if you take a look at the Salem dashboard, um, you have some default mappings, uh, which are normally included in the, uh, you can deactivate them if you want, don't want to um, yeah, get, get these mapped, but you can also do custom mapping, mappings where you can um, yeah, add 
add meta fields from Celum and put them in some targets um, in Sidecore. So you could also yeah, um, transfer this information via the connector um, from, from the Celum to the Sidecore and maybe use it inside of Sidecore for some, co some copyright text you want to display. Uh, in the, so if, if something is in this, this uh, text, uh, please display the copyright information or something like that. So it would be possible. Does this answer the question? Of course, yes. Great. <laughs> Any further questions are in here? Otherwise, we'll switch to uh, one of the online questions. Um, yeah. Um, let's stick with SharePoint. Um, if I'm using a rendition format of an image asset on SharePoint and not a CDN link, will the asset image be gone if my content hub has a downtime? Uh, if it is really transferred, the uh, uh, asset won't be gone. Uh, if, uh, it's, uh, if a public URL it, uh, is used, uh, it depends. If there's a CDN uh, in between, then uh, also still the asset will be shown uh, inside uh, SharePoint. If you uh, use the public URL to uh, deliver these assets via Silum 2 and Silum is down, then uh, the image won't be shown. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um, which Content Hub version is needed for the focus point feature? Do I have to license it separately? Or is it only working in combination with the SharePoint connection? Uh, the focus point setter is an additional uh, license. Um, to be honest, I don't know from which uh, version it uh, is supported, but I think from 5.13.4 on. It's, it's defini uh, definitely supported in uh, the, uh, the latest Celum uh, 6 uh, versions we released this year. Uh, of course, uh, with the latest version, it's uh, definitely uh, compatible. Um, ah, okay. And it is only working with SharePoint Connect? No, uh, it's, uh, I just wanted uh, to show uh, a combination. Uh, it's also working uh, completely on its own or uh, together with uh, other uh, connectors. All right, many thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, then we have got um, questions on Sitecore. Um, is the asset usage pop-up in Nova a standard Nova feature or a customized pop-up for Sitecore? This is uh, a customized um, function we used uh, in our connectors for, for Spirit and Sidecore. Um, yeah, it's uh, using the bullet and adding this uh, small dialog. Um, and again, Sidecore, is the asset use, uh, is there any option to crop an image for different devices? e.g. landscape for web or portrait for an app? Um, yes. Um, we'll share my screen again. But uh, this is a separate um, module for Sidecore, not, not a Salem module, but a Sidecore module um, we've built, um, which uh, is called image cropping uh, with KI for or with AI for Sitecore. Um, and um, yeah, it gives you the possibility to define, you can see here, one to one, two to three, uh, and uh, such things. Um, you can de uh, define different aspect ratios um, and uh, save them for each, each image if you want to. And um, yeah, there's also the possibility to include um, an AI, AI service from uh, Imaga or Microsoft to automatically set um, these, these um, yeah, aspect ratios and um, uh, views you can have. Um, yeah, it's an additional module, but it's uh, fully compatible with um, Sidecore. 
uh, with um, the Salem Connect. So we have customers which use uh, both in one single uh, workflow. Thank you. Um, that's it from my from the on online community. Okay. That in the meantime, uh, in here, uh, is there uh, any question left in here? <laughs> um, can assets be included in all web parts? Uh, as, as already said, uh, sadly not currently, it's uh, only possible in the free uh, web parts I show you, uh, showed you in the uh, asset picker, the uh, list view, and the hero view. Okay, thank you. May I add something here um, <laughs> concerning the rope map of the SharePoint connector? Um, we're currently um, thinking of exporting into SharePoint and when we would make that happen, um, you have the assets in the SharePoint library and could then um, use the assets in all web parts. Um, if there is a customer who really wants uh, to implement that together with us, um, just come to us and uh, we can talk about this. Thanks, Melanie, uh, for the uh, online view. Uh, this was Melanie Schädel, our product owner for uh, our marketplace and including uh, the SharePoint Connect. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we are uh, a little bit early, but if there are no uh, questions, you have an, uh, we, we have an additional short uh, lunch break. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>